Right, this video, we're going to learn how to do a streak plate, um, or often referred to as the quadrant method. It's a method used to isolate bacteria so we can see them growing as individual colonies. Um, in lab 4.1, we're actually going to use a mixed culture of Staphylococcus and E. coli. So we have two organisms growing in this tube, and we want to be able to separate those. To do this, we want to use aseptic techniques, which typically we would use the Bunsen burner, but the gas is off, so I have this other instrument to sterilize my inoculating loop. You want to get these red hot, and when they are red hot, they are sterile. All right, so got red hot. You know, you want to let those loops cool before you actually put them in and grab your sample. Here, everybody's going to use a triptic soy auger plate, okay, basic nutrients for most bacteria to grow. My loop is sufficiently cooled. I'm now going to open up this test tube and typically using aseptic technique I would pass this tube through the flame two or three times to kind of warm that up, kill any organisms that are on the outside of the tube. I'm going to dip my loop into the culture. I would reflame my tube cap that and set that down. Now notice when I'm taking the, the, the uh, cap off, I'm not setting that down, I'm holding it in my pinky finger, okay, and I'm doing one thing at a time, right? Set that tube down. The lid is still on my TSA plate, all right, aseptic. I don't want to put any organisms from the air um, onto this media. So I have my my plate here, Let's see if I can get a better angle. And I'm resting my hand on the bench top and I'm gonna open the plate and just kind of keep it covering the plate a little bit. And I'm just putting, working across the plate, my hand's resting and I'm just using my fingers to move the, the loop. And I'm putting the bacteria in which we refer to as the first quadrant. Okay. Put that down and I'm going to sterilize my inoculating loop get that red hot. Now the whole goal of this procedure is to spread those bacteria around so they are isolated. All right, let the loop cool. And I'm going to slightly turn my plate. My bacteria are over here. And I'm going to start in that first quadrant, move out to the second, first second, first second, first second. And you kind of go, you know, figure eight pattern about uh, four or five times. And then I'm going to just move those more organisms to the right. All right. My hand's resting on the bench. If you take too steep of an angle and try to work on this side of the plate, well, you're gonna start slicing the auger. Okay, so you work across the plate and then keep that closed. Sterilize my loop one more time here. Get it red hot and let it cool. Turn my plate slightly. You want to allow a few seconds for that loop to cool. If not, if you put that in that hot loop in the bacteria side, I'll just demonstrate that. Hot loop, if you heard that sizzle, what that's doing is you're splattering bacteria into the um, lab space, okay? Which is what we don't want to do. All right, so cool that loop. And now I'm starting in that second quadrant out to the third, second, third, second, third, second, third. And then just moving my fingers, moving my hand away. So really right now I have bacteria kind of tight along the sides here. It's almost got a C-shaped left inside that plate. I'm going to sterilize my loop one last time here. Get that red hot. And now my goal is to use the remainder of the plate and bring those organisms and we should start seeing isolation in this third and fourth qu quadrant where the bacteria are separate from each other. Cool loop. Start in the third, out to the fourth, third, fourth, third, fourth, third, fourth. Pick up a bunch of bacteria and then move that into the middle of the plate avoiding touching your other two quadrants. All right? So you don't want to touch that fourth to the first or the fourth to the second because then you're going to bring a bunch more bacteria out. Now there are bad ways to do this. 
Notice how I only put one loopful of bacteria on that plate. So only one loopful of bacteria from your culture goes onto the plate. Another mistake people make is not sterilizing their loop in between each quadrant. If you don't sterilize your loop in between each quadrant, you have a ton of bacteria just smeared all around the plate. Another thing that we'll, I'll see is basically people doing a poor job of the actual streaking technique. And we'll demonstrate this is the bacteria in black here. This is the first quadrant. People will do this. This is their second quadrant. This is their third quadrant. And this is their fourth quadrant. They basically make a box. And that's really what you see on that uh, uh, on that plate is the growth pattern. You don't see isolated colonies. But what you want to do is, again, bacteria in black. It's your first quadrant. Sterilize your loop. Start in that first. Go out to the second. First, second. First, second. And then move the bacteria out that way. Okay. Sterilize my loop. Let it cool. Start in the second. Out to the third. Second, third second, third, and then move the bacteria out. So you can see, I kind of have a, a C shape here. Sterilize my loop. Start in that third, out to the fourth, third, fourth. And when you start doing this, you're gonna start seeing isolated colonies when, after, we, after of course, we let them grow overnight. Okay, so we should be able to see staph and E. coli, staphs like the, the dark black here, and then E. coli is the one with no color. Okay, just as an example. All right, so this technique is very important. Um, in this first lab, you'll make some mistakes, but you'll do. Everybody will do a TSA plate um, to see how they did. Um, we'll also use some blood auger at the table. This is blood auger. That's uh, triptych soy auger with sheep's blood. So blood auger is a differential media, allowing us to look for hemolytic patterns of the bacteria, so either alpha, beta, or gamma hemolysis, all relating to whether or not they can lyse red blood cells or not. Uh, we'll also use MSA, mannitol salt auger, and ESN methylene blue in lab 4.1 as well. Okay, so that's an important technique. Make sure you watch this video, watch it over. Uh, be prepared to uh, have very little instruction when we are in the, in the lab for that day. Um, to start um, because it will be a busy day in lab.